hello and welcome back so guys here the last thing which we need, need to do to complete this code the update delete insert and create by the way sorry update delete insert and select and insert is called the create basically so now what I just want to do more if I just go to the new connection you can see that we just created the update function the insert function the simple view function all these things are really simple as you can see not a really lengthy method and the delete is more and more easy than that so first of all I'm in the new controller I'm just copying the previous one well basically I just don't need to copy really really because the work is really simple just paste that there and add an extra enter and what more I'm just gonna do is to go there and actually I'm removing all these things because I just really don't want that just run the function which I'm just gonna make uh, in this new model so let's just leave this thing blank I'm just going there and one thing more I just wanna clear you you can see that I just here what is this UP data the UP data is actually coming from there um, where is the update post here is the update post so the UP data is coming all these data is actually the UP data actually the basically this data so now you know you can see that we just uh, typed here the three instead of this thing I just can type the ID2 and then I can pass the data from there well I'm just gonna teach you how we can that do that in the delete post so let's just type the delete post and save and then what I'm just doing I'm just going to the new model first and actually simply I'm just copying the previous one okay only just copy and paste there and then it should be delete okay now what I'm just doing I'm removing this one right now and uh, actually let's just uh, because you know that we just don't need to update anything let's just remove that uh, and just simply type delete and then and then the name of the table where we just want to delete something I just want to delete something from the posts now how to do that I just want to teach you the method too so we're just going to the new con a new con uh, controller and here the name of this function is delete so let's just go there and uh, let's just simply type this and uh, you know that the new model and then what I just need to type is to call the delete function and what is the delete function this is the delete function I'm calling and here I'm just sending the data what I'm just sending is the ID okay an ID what I'm just creating the ID I can create the ID there so if I just create the ID there then I just need to call that from the URL but I'm not calling the ID from the URL I'm just simply adding the ID manually or actually statically and here you can see that I'm just putting three here okay the last thing which I just created I just put it there and here I'm just sending the ID to the delete and I'm just going to the new model and here I'm receiving that okay the ID and then here it should be the dollar ID now it's perfect it, it's perfect now here you can see that we are already getting the up data so I'm just going there and what I can do is to press enter the ID create the ID here and add it in space and now the ID is 3 as you know that we are just receiving the third ID here so still if, if I just if I just don't create the ID here just mention the ID there and you know that we just need to call the update post to the URL so I can call the ID and I can mention the value of the ID in the URL too so by the way what I'm just doing I'm just uh, adding a comma here is the update function uh, the update method so just after this associative array just add a comma and add the ID now this ID is going there to to this page now the problem is first I'm just sending the associative array and second I'm just sending the ID so for the associative array this is the up data and for the ID I just need to add the comma and then the ID so there instead of this I can get the ID which I'm just getting the ID from that page here is the ID so everything is just fine and simple then just go to the browser and simply um, type instead of the simple index just type the delete post and press enter now 
nothing will happen but go there you can see that there are three posts just click on browse and the third one has gone that means it's working perfectly the delete function is working perfectly now just go there and just type index 3 again and press enter now you can see that nothing is there to see so guys stay tuned and goodbye